Hey everyone, so welcome back. In this video, we'll be solving another cross site scripting lab on Port Figure Academy. So let's get started. So this lab contains a reflected cross site scripting vulnerability in the search functionality, but uses a WAF to protect against common XSS vectors. And to solve this lab, we need to perform a cross site scripting attack that bypasses the WAF and calls the print function. Okay. So we have a WAF that should be interesting. And we need to somehow find a way to call the print function. All right. And we have a note as well. Your solution must not require any user interaction manually causing the print to be called in your own browser will not solve the lab okay fine now let me just head over to the lab right and this is the place where we have the cross-site scripting vulnerability correct and now like always whenever i'm trying to find a cross-site scripting vulnerability the first thing that i do is i'll always inject less than symbol right less than symbol along with some text after that so here i'll inject pikachu enter and once I get the response, I check the source code of the page to check how my inputs are being reflected on the page. So control U, right, to check the source code of the page and control F, search for Pikachu. And as you can see, the less than symbol is not being validated by the server. The less than symbol came back as less than symbol from server. That means it is not actually encoding or doing any, any kind of stuff, right? So that means I can actually use our famous SVG payload which uses just the less than symbol and check if that actually works or not right i mean i can i can simply use the famous svg payload which alerts a pop-up box and also that payload will use just the less than symbol correct so i'll do the same thing here and try that uh, payload and see if that works right so let me just close this tab instead of less than pikachu i'll use less than uh, svg and space on load is equals to prompt one two three correct double slash enter and okay it looks like the waf is actually blocking the svg tag right so let me actually do something let me actually clear everything except the tag because now my concentration is just the tag i need to find a tag which is not blocked by the waf and that is the reason i'm removing everything for now and later i can actually put those stuff back again but now for now i mean my concentration is just on the tag right so let me just clear everything and instead of svg i'll try image tag image tag and looks like that is also blocked now i'll try anchor tag maybe and yeah that is blocked as well what about script tag it is also blocked now i can't manually try each and every tag like this so for this i'll actually use intruder right okay so let me just open the verb suit and capture the request first so intercept is on and capture this request and i got the request so let me just send it to the intruder and intercept to off go back to intruder and let me actually get the you know the list of all the tags that i can try and that i can get it from uh, xss cheat sheet from port sugar academy so let me just uh, get that cheat sheet it's right here so let me just uh, copy all the tags okay the page is still loading okay we got it so copy all the tags to clipboard so these are all the tags that we have that we can try and check which of these tags are being allowed by WAF, right? So let me just copy all the tags, go back to Intruder. First of all, paste all the, you know, uh, paste all the tags here. So paste. And as you can see, we are just trying on the tag names, right? Only the tag names, anchor tag, acronym, address, and etc. Now let me go back to the positions. And I don't want to tamper anything with the session. So let me just clear that, right? And here as well. We just want to try only on the name of the tag but not the less than symbol so let me actually put this less than symbol outside the dollar sign right so outside the dollar sign and this is the one that we'll be trying on only this part so we'll try all the tag names just here so for example if you go to the payloads list the first thing that will be tried is anchor tag so this will become less than anchor tag and the second one is a2 so again this will become less than a2 and we'll keep on trying that and check finally which are all the tags that are being allowed by the waf right so let me just start the attack okay and uh, let us actually wait for you know all the responses to check which tags are being allowed and not blocked by the waf And finally it's finished and now let me actually do something let me actually filter this by status 
and uh, as you can see okay it looks like the body tag is the one that is being allowed along with the custom tags okay custom tags we already know because when we actually gave less than pikachu it actually accepted i mean it was actually accepting the custom tag but the interesting part is it is actually accepting the body tag so we actually found the tag which is not being blocked by the waf so we'll continue this in the next video i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video